Heather Turner with Your Birth, and I'm going to be wrapping Adriana, who is 31 weeks pregnant. Um, I've had several requests on whether or not you can wrap when you're pregnant, and you absolutely can. Uh, you may want to get your doctors, um, let your doctor know beforehand, just in case they have any questions about it. But um, otherwise, it's just basically providing support to the hips, and then you're just going to run out the wrap over your tummy. Um, so she has purchased a 10 yard natural wrap. Um, keep in mind that it's never going to look like this again. Um, because once you wash it, it'll get really soft. Oh, Don't try to roll it up again like this. Um, just okay. just put it in a bag or a basket when you take it off. Um, you can machine wash it, machine dry it, um, or line dry it. So, so basically, to get started, it doesn't matter which end you start at, which is very similar to the other videos. Um, so you're going to take this and you're going to put put it up to your forehead and then you're going to take the other part and bring it right down a little bit further a little bit further right down right down there <laughs> oh and our cat here's our cat abby say hello abby so you can lower this part this is just to measure out the tail part okay so hold your hand there and I'm gonna go around you. So this may be a little short when you're pregnant. So when you are purchasing a wrap, try to buy the wrap to the length of your postpartum body, okay? Um, because once again, the most important part is gonna be down here on the hips, and then the rest is just gonna run out, so it doesn't matter if it's too short. So we're gonna come around, and go ahead and let this part go for a second. So, go ahead and move your hand too. Okay. So for this part, this is the most important um, twist of the whole wrapping. So I'm gonna have you bring your feet together and then um, have her take a nice deep breath. And I'm gonna try to make it snug, just snug, not too tight. So snug it up and then I'm gonna twist it. And I want you to lift this piece straight up. So now you're just gonna basically hold it out of the way as I go around again. So now you can relax your legs and your hips. And this should already feel good on your lower back. Do you feel a difference? Kind of supporting it, yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to do another twist. And as I twist, I tug down just a little bit. Go ahead and lift that up. So once again, you don't have to bring your legs together for, for any other than the first. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you get nice and tight on the bottom. What's that? So you get it nice and tight on the bottom. Yeah, nice and snug. So basically going around again. So all I'm doing, and I know you can't see, <laughs> you know, I'm literally just twisting this piece around this piece. But it ends up looking like not. So now I'm going looser. She's kicking. Is she? <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm just going to go, I'm not making it snug. I'm just following the curve of her body now, very, very gently. Go straight up. Coming around. So for this, when you're pregnant, I would, you know, maybe just wear it for a few hours, a couple of times a day if it feels good. Um, it offers quite a bit of relief on your hips and your um, and your lower back. Hi, Abby. <laughs> Hello. We haven't seen her at all until we started filming. <laughs> once again, just coming around. Oh, I think this will be a really good size for you once you deliver. That's good. So I see. We come to the end. And now we're just going to tie just a, a granny knot. Once again, not making it too tight. And then you can tuck it if you want. Um, so go ahead and tur turn around. And then one more time. So you can see it's really, really loose around her belly, but that's, yeah. that's the goal. We don't want it to be constricting at all. How does it feel it, in your hips? It feels like it's pulling the hips a lot right here. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. 
All right.